What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video and to the channel. So in this video, I wanted to follow up with my last video where I talk about some of the mods on my BMW F30. For those of you who may be new here and are new to the channel, I have a 2014 BMW F30 335i with the N55 engine. Now in my previous video, I talked about the top 10 cheapest mods that I have on the car. Now in this video, I wanted to talk about the more expensive mods that I have on the car. So here are the top five most expensive mods I have on my BMW F30. Now starting at number five here is my flash tuning program boot mode that I use to tune the car with the given performance mods I currently have on it. For those of you who may not be familiar with boot mode, it is a tuning program that you can use to tune your car um, with whatever bolt-on mods that you have or want to get to. It has all sorts of maps that you can choose from and they are all geared towards you know certain mods that you have on the engine. For example, I am on the OTS map stage 2 E30 because I have a high flow cat, I have an intercooler, and I am running a 30% mixture of E85 and 91 pump gas. Now in addition to having a bunch of maps to choose from with your given bolt-on mods that you have on your engine, there are all sorts of little adjustments that you could do to your car aside from performance. For example, you can adjust like the burbles and how loud they are and how long they last for. You can activate the GTS startup roar so that your car always starts up really loudly on every startup. And on top of that, you can also data log and record the live data of how your engine is uh, functioning with all these sensors and whatnot. You can see if there's any issues with you know, a boost leak or it's pulling timing or anything like that. Now the license for this tuning program costs $595, which I think is 100% worth it because like I said, it comes with all of those things you could do uh, with your car. By the way, I forgot to mention that you can do all of that from your laptop at home in your car so you, didn't, you don't have to go anywhere, you don't have to take it to a shop or anything, all you need is a laptop and an OBD2 to Ethernet cable to connect to your OBD2 port from your laptop. And yeah, you can do all of this at home uh, from your laptop so I think it's super convenient, super easy and it just makes it you know a lot more fun because you're in control of everything you do to your car. So if you just buy the license, it comes with one OTS map that you can choose from. Now if you want to expand and add more bolt-ons and get more power, you're going to have to get the map bundle, which is an additional $50, and that allows you to get access to any map that is available on boot mode. There's a bunch of different maps. So instead of just only having one map, you now get access to all of the maps. Uh, this is mainly for people who want to you know, progress and get faster and add more uh, bolt-on mods as time goes on. So with the additional $50 total, it'll be $650 for all of that, which I still think is worth it. Cause like I said, you can do all of those things uh, from your laptop at home yourself without spending any extra labor on someone else, you know, doing all that. So yeah, guys, I definitely recommend using boot mode to tune your F chassis BMW. Now it isn't the only tuning program you can use. There's a bunch of other ones, but this is the one I chose and I have no complaints about it whatsoever. Now at number four here is my GTS hood from souvenir.com. This is basically a replica of the GTS hood that comes on the M4 GTS. And I believe it also comes on the M3 and M4 CS. So yeah, it is not an OEM part from BMW. It is an aftermarket hood, just with an identical GTS style design that is on those hoods from the M4 GTS and the M3 and M4 CS. I honestly think it is a really cool addition to the exterior of the car. It just gives it a more aggressive look from the front, a little bit more meaner look. And I think it is definitely better than the stock hood that comes with the F, any F series or F chassis BMW. The original hood just kind of looks very plain and basic with very little, you know, design. So the GTS hood definitely helps with adding a better look to the front end of the car. So this hood cost me $800 at the time when I bought it, which was almost a year ago. I believe they are still around the same price, but uh, I will leave a link to it where you guys can check and see if you guys want to get one for yourself. Now next up at number three is my custom carbon fiber steering wheel. 
This steering wheel is actually from my own store, inline6auto.com. Now, this is a fully custom carbon fiber steering wheel with real carbon fiber and perforated leather in addition to M colored stitching with a new M logo at the bottom. It also has more of a square design at the bottom, which I think looks a lot more aggressive than just the round look that comes on the factory M Sport steering wheel. Now these steering wheels currently cost $850, and that is for just the core without the airbag and the button accessories on the sides and the paddle shifters. If you do get one of these, you will have to transfer over your original uh, airbag, your button accessories, and your and your paddle shifters onto the steering wheel. All those parts will fit just like the stock steering wheel, the factory steering wheel. So it is a near identical OEM fitment uh, on any F30 or F32 or F22. As usual, I'll leave a link down in the description directly to my website if you guys want to check this steering wheel out for yourselves. Now, next up on the list at number two are my BC Racing coilovers. I got these from Coilover Depot for $995, so basically $1,000. Now, these coilovers are fully adjustable, so you can adjust the height, the dampening, the stiffness of the ride, and the spring load. And you can even adjust the camber in the front if you want the wheels to stick out a little more. So for the price, I definitely think these are a good choice. These are on the more affordable side, but for only $1,000 and you have full adjustability of everything, I do think they're reasonably priced. Um, they aren't the most comfortable um, coilovers. There is a bit of clunking from what I've heard and experienced myself. Um, than other options that are more expensive. So I wouldn't say they are super high quality, but um, for what you get, full adjustability, I do think they are a good choice if you are looking for adjustability and an affordable you know, coilover set. Now more high quality coilovers usually go for around like 2,000. In addition, I also did an install video on how to install these coilovers, um, the front and the rear. If you guys want to check out that video, I'll leave a link in the description along with the link directly to these coilovers if you want to purchase a set for yourself. Finally, at number one, the most expensive part or mod that I have purchased for the F30 are my 437M wheels. Now I got these wheels used for $1,300, which is I think a pretty good price. These wheels are not cheap. These wheels usually cost around one to $3,000 depending on the condition of them and the tires that come with them. I thankfully found someone who was letting them go for only $1,300, so as soon as I saw that uh, offer, I instantly took it and got them for the F30. Now these wheels are probably the best OEM wheels uh, for any BMW pretty much, especially the F30 and the F80 uh, M cars, um, especially if you're lowered also like when I put these on the car, they were already flush as is with the tire setup that came with them. The wheel fitment on this car was just near perfect as soon as I put them on a car with like no adjustments whatsoever. Now I did do a few adjustments with the coilovers for these wheels because the tires on these wheels are super thick. The front tires are 255 by 55 and then the rear tires are 275 by 55 so they are super meaty, super thick tires and it is just a little too much for the front so as a result I am rubbing on the inside of the fender uh, only in the front I'm not rubbing in the rear but yeah so that has been a little annoyance that I've had since I've had these wheels but they look absolutely amazing on this car like the wheel fitment and stance just looks so aggressive with these wheels and tires so yeah I definitely recommend these wheels as sort of maybe like a first wheel set uh, if you just have you know their stock regular wheels that come with the 335i's on the F30's. Now whether or not you're able to get a set is really dependent on who has them for sale in your area because these wheels are kind of hard to come by. These wheels come on the F80, F82, and F87, M2, M3, and M4 from factory. So you just have to hopefully find someone with one of those cars that are offering those wheels for sale. So yeah, unfortunately I can't just provide a link to these wheels. You can get replicas of these wheels, but I honestly don't think they look as good. They look a little bit different um, in my opinion. But you can always do that as an option if you just want a, if you don't want to wait to find someone who's um, offering these for sale. So yeah guys, those are my top five most expensive mods I currently have on my F30. Now honestly, I would say those are not that expensive compared to some of the other mods you could buy for this car. 
Uh, I honestly didn't want to go crazy on mods. That's just kind of not my style. I, I like to keep it more of a clean OEM kind of look. A little bit more than OEM, but not, you know, crazy with like, you know, super wide wheels, a full wide body, um, full carbon fiber, you know, fenders, hood, and stuff like that. So yeah, I really haven't spent that much, I would say. So if you want your F30 to look somewhat like mine or something similar, like that's, you have the same taste as me, I would say it's really not that unattainable because as you guys saw the most expensive part I have on this car are just the wheels which are still not that expensive because most other aftermarket wheels brand new that you can get are easily more than two thousand dollars three thousand dollars or even or more so yeah you really don't have to spend that much to get your f30 I would say looking pretty clean you know not you know super clean and super unique and super crazy you're gonna have to spend a lot more if you want you know that kind of look but if you want just more of like a simpler more subtle OEM style kind of look you really don't have to spend that much now for most people like spending a thousand dollars on some wheels or on a hood is a lot of money for those people who are not into you know modifying cars and stuff but for us car guys like that is really not that much compared to what other what some other mods cost so yeah guys that is pretty much gonna do it for this video if you guys have any additional questions as always feel free to comment down below the video and i'll answer you there give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more content like this if you like what you saw also feel free to check out my website at inlandsixauto.com um, if you want to see some of the mods i i mentioned in this video like the steering wheel and a bunch of other mods for uh, the f30 I'll leave a link down in the description of this video if you guys want to check it out. But uh, anyway, you guys, I will see you guys in the next video.